first thing we're going to do is prepare the uh, teeth in the lower arch for veneers. And that means the second premolar on, on the right side over here, the first premolar, the canine, and then if you go to the other side, we have the canine, or the lateral, excuse me, lateral incisor here, canine, premolar, and premolar. So those are the teeth, and I'm going to go ahead and prepare those first before we remove the old crowns. This is the LVS-1 0.5 millimeter depth cutting diamond that I'm using here to begin my veneer preparations. And I'm going to make half millimeter depth cuts here. Now we're going to take the chamfer ended diamond, the LBS3, which has a, a, a safe cutting end to it. You can see it has a little bit less grit on the end of this down by the tissue. Dr. Goldstein developed this one also. And we're going to join those depth cuts. We're forming a chamfer right at the tissue level. No need to retract the tissue here. Kind of a sweeping brush, brush motion on this burr rather than a heavy cutting motion. Taking just a little bit of enamel at a time to make sure that we have room for half a millimeter of porcelain here. So we've reduced a half a millimeter from the facial surface of the lower premolars, canines on both sides, and the lateral incisor on the right side. Now, I basically just got a, a straight vertical preparation. Of course, the teeth have different angles. I'm going to contour the canine over the incisal edge just a little bit to have that second plane of reduction so that we have enough room for half a millimeter there. Same with the premolars. Follow the contour of the two. Now we want to take this chamfer into the interproximals to, to form what's called the elbow preparation. You keep the burr along the long axis of the tooth so that you don't create undercuts as you form that elbow preparation. Now I'm going to use the, the base of this burr as a depth cutter because almost to the base of the burr is a millimeter in diameter. And I'd like to reduce a millimeter over the incisal edge of the canine and lateral to produce enough room for, for porcelain to go up over onto that incisal edge. Now I'm going to use this little KS1 diamond burr, which has a, a little rounded end on it, a rounded shoulder, to prepare over the occlusal, the incisal edges of the uh, mandibular premolars. 